Bananas. A story of 14-year-old me. Edit. Holy crap. Thanks for all the awards and comments. You guys rock. I just happened to think of this last night while talking to my in-laws and wanted to share. I hope this fits here. I think it does. Edited to add further context and clarity. Mind you. For context of this story. I was the weird goth weeboo kid in high school. Especially at 14 years old. I wore all black. Mostly shipped from Hot Topic. Or anime related stuff. Again. Hot Topic. And few kids liked me or found me attractive. I was just convenient. I suppose. To the boys in this story. I'm currently 24. When I was in high school, I decided to take automotive tech. Literally a class in which you learn how to work on cars. Normally a path to a career in the field. A quarter of the classes were presentations from automotive tech schools. I took it to learn how to care for my own car and to learn how to not get screwed by a crappy mechanic being a woman and all. As one would imagine, my class was mostly boys. I was one of two girls in a class of 17 or so. I was 14 years old. The age range of the class was 14. Me the youngest, to 17. High school seniors. I love bananas. Like a lot. I had one for lunch every day and often ate in my auto tech class seeing as that was my lunch. Period and didn't want to walk across campus. Like half a mile. I'm lazy to the cafeteria if I brought my own lunch. Most of the class did the same if they had food. The teacher let us stay. I think he liked the company and conversation. He was a super cool dude. Just some mechanic who worked weekends as an actual mechanic and weeks as a high school auto tech teacher. Every lunch, the remaining boys would watch me intently every day eating my daily banana. I was getting annoyed with this shit. My male teacher would tell the guys to mind their own business almost every day but they never listened and he didn't have the same power as most teachers since he only taught an elective class. He couldn't assign detentions. He had to go through administration and they had to actually see the situation decide with him. Which never happened. About two months into this ish I got so so tired of it. I brought the biggest banana I could grab in the bunch. I waited until just before lunch to pull it out. So every boy would see it and want to stay and stare. Once lunch started, I oh so slowly peeled said large banana. Delicately, excruciatingly slowly. As erotic as a 14 year old can get while peeling a banana. My teacher almost said something but I smiled at him and he just shrugged. I then proceeded to shove as much of that banana down my throat as possible. The boys all gasped. Teacher cleared his throat and looked away. Less than a second later I violently bit the hell out of the banana and chewed what was in my mouth. As viciously as possible. I was gagging on this huge bite but needed my point across so I dealt. There were audible gasps of sympathetic pain. My teacher, upon realizing what I'd done, was hiding laughter. I ate the remainder of the banana as aggressively as possible with the loudest, most ugly chewing possible. Those boys never watched me eat a banana again I'll tell you that. They wanted sexy banana eating, I gave it to them I suppose. Beautiful. A tale of vengeance. I don't even care if it fits or not. I love what you did. I'm a gay man. Trust me when I tell you. Once you come out of the closet as gay, you can't eat a banana around any straight person without them giving you a hard time about it. They won't just watch. They'll comment. Obnoxiously. And it doesn't matter what their gender is. So you learn you peel it. Break it into pieces with your hands in the most unsexy manner possible. Then visibly bite the pieces with your teeth as you eat them. It's about as sexy as eating chicken nuggets. High school boys are fucking gross. Sincerely, a male high school teacher. I used to rip bananas in half before I ate them instead of just peeling them, definitely. Desexifies them. 
brilliant, laughing so hard I couldn't hit the vote button properly. Drove him all bananas you did. There is an uber Christian college near me. The women students have to sign a morality pledge that they will eat bananas. Wieners. And the like with a knife and fork cause Jesus doesn't approve of blowjobs in academia. If I was there I probs would have died of laughter when you did that tears of joy tears of joy fucking golden. I knew someone in college who would tear the banana apart with her hands as she ate it for this reason. Gold. Definitely malicious, entirely appropriate. That was a brilliant way to get them to mind their own business. Well done. Gooden. Edit for. You. It just surprises me that it worked with every one of them. I know some dudes who would have looked even closer after that. Can't find the video. Fraser and Lana are building a popsicle stick house. Dr. Fraser Crane. You know, there was a time back in high school when I would have paid a thousand dollars to watch you eat a popsicle. She just looks at him with a popsicle in her mouth and bites off the end, making him flinch. Dr. Fraser Crane. It was a long time ago. But yeah I as a guy never understood why other guys think phallic food in a girl's mouth is turn on. You gotta share this post on our 2x chromosomes. That's a great story, did you learn to fix your car? Would have loved to see their faces. That is wonderful malicious compliance. I think most people would have had the same reaction as your teacher. I laughed so hard. Our delicious compliance? Ha 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 thanks for that story. Sounds hilarious. Go, you. What an awesome way to solve that problem. If you enjoyed this video, please check out our playlists full of similar content. Epic Eracast is like doom scrolling for your ears. Please like, share, and subscribe.